Wonderful welcome souls and spirits, it's your girl Sludems the Souls here and welcome back to another exciting video, yeah! And welcome back to The Sims Castaway Stories with my boy David Bennett. Um, well if I've forgotten his last name it is David. But um, yeah, so previously, um, let's say David got castaway, like the ship exploded, he slept on during that whole experience and then he learns how to survive, starts building a raft, and made a friend with a monkey who was beating him up earlier to protect some idol. And now David got mysteriously sick by the idol, and then he's mysteriously cured, and now he lives inside this hut. So also, um, they this game like, comes along with, like, ch diary logs within each chapter that's been played out. So, before I continue on with this gameplay, maybe, um, I should read the journal entries. Not all the way back from the beginning, just back to the chapter point. Um, you know, like, I just started chapter 7, so now I'm gonna read everything before that. So, I believe we are... I believe we're idle hands. Um, I'm double-checking. Yeah, I already read that before, so... Okay, I wanted to keep the idol close to me. I placed it somewhere nice. It turns out the idol itself was a great way to spruce up the camp. I took a closer look at this idol. For the first time on this island, I'm not all alone. I finally have someone to talk to. Too bad he's the strong, quiet type. It could take quite some time to finish my raft. I needed an overall food and resource gathering plan. So I planned my survival strategy. Plan your work and work your plan. That's what I always say. Now I have a set schedule for my island job. One of the orangutans from earlier came to my camp. No banana bribes, bribes this time. I won this orangutan over with sheer personality. When it rains, it pours. I have two new friends now, Spalding and an orangutan. This is already a better experience for me than high school. Wow. That's a little upsetting. I thought it would be nice to have an orangutan around all the time. I adopted it. I can finally strike out pet primate for my letters to Santa, which is good since I haven't seen any mailboxes here. It occurred to me that orangutan could save me a lot of time by gathering f food and resources for the both of us. I explained to the orangutan that it'd have to earn its own keep around here. The job market is tight right now, but I found a g it a gig helping me out. I hope it doesn't get a better job offer than fr from a local headhunter. David, your job is the hunter, and the monkey's job is the gatherer. The eye that bite. I thought the wreckage might have some wires or something that I could use as a rope. After searching the crushed plane, I found what appears to be Spaulding's missing gem. I had to see if the jewel fit the idol. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it gave me a face full of illness. I feel like my insides want to be on the outside. This is not good. The gas that came out of that idol made me feel terribly ill, and if I didn't locate some medicine soon... Well, let's not think about that. My luck is finally turning around. I found an old hut with a first aid kit inside. The medicine packs quite a punch, but I feel like my old self again. We just don't know what was in the medicine, but it just magically cured us. So, yeah. Um, I thought there would have been something to build buy my raft base together at the lagoon. I found an old parachute rope in the hut. A phone would have been nice, but I am happy with a rope. The quicker my raft is finished, the quicker I'll be back home. The parachute rope worked great. I tied up the ba raft base. It's really starting to come together. I felt like the lagoon would be a much nicer place to live. Even though I'm still proud of my shelter, I moved into the old hut by the lagoon. I took some time and resources to fix up the hut by the lagoon, make it more my own. I added some furnishings. I'm hoping I can get the cover of of next month's copy of Huts and Jungles magazine. Wow. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the chapters so far. So let's now continue on with the story. So I the camera panned over here last time, so let's explore. Come on, David. We gotta explore. You wasted so much time going just going down the hut stairs. Okay, just explore. Ooh, primeval sh shrine. Wait, primeval? Primeval? Is that how you pronounce it? I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> so. Ooh. Um, oh, 
That ruined shrine looks like it has an altar designed to hold Spalding. I mean, kind of, but uh, let's just cut away this some of this uh, bamboo, I believe. So, let me just fast forward this. It instantly became uh, morning. Okay, there we go. Okay, keep on cutting. Oh! Okay. I also realized it said explore with the idol. And I just realized I left it back at the hut. So... I have to go get the idol and bring it back to Primeval Shrine. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, now since I got the idol this time... Um... Well, basically, all I have to do is just place the idol within the shrine, so I have to have it in my inventory. So... I remembered I had Spalding left back at the hut. I didn't know if it was in my inventory or not. I mean, I double-checked off-camera. But let's, uh, practice... P I mean, place the idol. Why did I say practice? Whoa! What did it do? Um, whoa, who needs TV when you've got secret passages through ancient walls? Tricky island architects. Looks like this is where you stay, Spalding. It's been fun, other than you trying to kill me thing. Don't worry, I forgive you. I think. I don't want to leave him, but I must press on. My rescue could be just on the other side of these enormous doors. Well, let's explore, shall we? This is so exciting. Ooh, Baron Banks! We're actually exploring a lot of new things on this island, so... I mean, the island looked big on the map, so... Oh, we got a cutscene. You're here! We're rescued! They found us! It's about time! Did you bring any food? Saved at last! Do you have any video games? Or a cell phone? I need to call my broker. Where's the helicopter? Finally, I'm so bored. Where did you come from? We are survivors from the Solomon Queen. Oh my goodness, same. But there's been a misunderstanding. I'm not your rescue. I'm shipwrecked from the Solomon Queen too. Ah, how unfortunate. The Queen has really let her standard slip of late. Wow. Oh, speak with the survivors. Okay, let's uh, mingle with these people. So, I mean, it's, we can learn, like, how long have they been shipwrecked? Oh, no, wait, they're also... Wait, I can tell how long they've been here. They're, they've been longer, like, this, like, long as I... As David has been there. So, they were also, like, survivors of the Solomon Queen. So, I'm trying to talk to everyone, but I can't talk to him because he's using the party. So, let me try and talk to... Oh, happy. What? Uh, Nothing is blocking your way! Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I have to then re-communicate with her. But, uh, have you been eating anything? Of course, the elderly gentleman brings us food from his little joints into the jungle. Is he here now? No, he must be off exploring again. Also, I want to apologize for any glitchiness. I asked him to bring me a pet from the jungle, something you can't eat. Oh. Um, okay. Who's in charge here? I'm just walking around people. The old guy with the food. Say, shouldn't he be back by now? I'm starving. I should write a desert to beach diet book. You can't you can eat absolutely anything you want, except food. Do you think Robbie has a girlfriend? Why are you asking me? And who and who is Robbie? Is it uh, I mean I think it's either the team boy next to me or the or the older guy. But, hey man, sorry about the lame welcoming party. I think the stress is starting to get to everyone. My name's Robbie. Oh, he's Robbie. I'm just that you showed up. That Hugh is such a stick in the mud. He never wants to have any fun with me. Have you started building a raft? Nah, that sounds too much like work to be any fun. Dude, pull my finger. Maybe later. Where is like David's also talking about nature, but 
I feel Robbie's kind of like more of that dude that's very, you know, like he's a bit of a gamer and everything. But uh, did you bring us any food? Afraid not. What's wrong with that coconut tree? Is that what that is? Anyways, they're too high. What? I just know you'll get home to my family, hopefully before my monthly garden club meeting. Wait, she said they're too high. Why couldn't she just climb the tree? But also, interesting to know that she has, back at home, she has a she joins a club. But I believe let's talk to him because he's the only person we have to talk to. And David is thinking about fish. Probably the first thing he caught or and ate. Oh, <laughs> that's rich. The, like, he got up and then the woman stole his little bed. I wonder what they're talking about. What are you dudes talking about? Probably guy stuff. Is it just me or does David's face feel very flat at an angle? Because... This other dude has, like, a long nose. What? Okay, so nothing happened. Hold on, I may need to talk to him again. And see if some dialogue can appear this time. So. Okay. I be yeah, I believe I've talked to everyone, because I'm just panning, double-checking to make sure. Who's the guy running the show here? I am, I suppose. Yes, me. I'm Hugh Bailey. I'm sure you've heard of me. This joker can't lead his way out of a clown car. Or oh, couldn't, whoops. I'm glad I found you. I'm worried about the elderly gentleman. What's his name? Oh, Professor Reinhardt? No need to worry about that old hyena. He seems perfectly at home here. I'm going to look for Reinhardt. You should stay here and do whatever you do. Good idea. Say, if you don't find him, will you bring back some food? Wow, these... These people are very lazy, like, they've had coconut trees, but no one thinks about climbing them, and they're just letting this old guy collect food for them. They're not think- like, they need to, like, learn to survive on their own and collect food and resources. But anyways, we're going on to the swamp, so this is a new place. I'm actually surprised that the survivors we met are, like- how long have they been going for di like it's been days and they're resorting to this old guy for for just food i'm just going to chop wood as well to probably get more resources but seriously there's wood and bananas they could have explored deeper into the jungle and found bananas but i'm surprised okay we're going to the crossroad but i'm surprised those people they don't bother to climb the tree to get the coconuts if they're getting hungry or thirsty. Or bother spearing a fish or anything, but uh... Ooh! Island natives! I wonder if they're friendly. He does actually doesn't look that friendly because he's going, Shoo! <laughs> but I want to greet him, like, say hello. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm David. You guys have some sweet ink. Always wanted to tats myself, but you know how moms can be. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just sped up the fight because I got into another fight and he got his butt whooped. Wow, he's mean. I can't explore there, apparently. Um, what about here? Oh, I can't because of, um, Mata. Is that a, oh my goodness, that's an actual leopard. That's actually impressive. But, um, I'm supposed to find this old guy so let's go over here i nothing looks like it's been guarded so let's just ex let's just explore here Ooh, the boneyard Ooh, it sounds like graveyard oh is it like a graveyard of bones oh there's the old guy but, um, ooh, chapter 8, a class act. That must be Professor Reinhardt. How many old professor types could possibly be wandering around out here? Okay, well, let's talk with him. Say hello. But... What? Dude! Nothing is blocking your way. Try and... 
At least the bar didn't disappear. Professor Reinhardt, I presume? And pr you presume correctly, and you are... I'm David. I washed ashore from the Solomon Queen just like you and your people. You've met them. Charming people, but a bit disorganized. And, and lazy. I was surprised they haven't even begun a raft. Ah, you have, then I take it. I mean, ah, you have, then I take it. I have. It's just a flat face so far. I'm looking for something I can use for a mast. There is a crossroads nearby, and one of the paths leads to an abandoned village. You can find a wooden pole suitable for a mast there. Really? That's great. But how do you know so much about the island? I've made a study of the natives for, of these islands and their customs for years. I've been there. The natives aren't very friendly. Oh, I mean, I've been there. I'll come with you. Perhaps I can reason with them. Okay. Um, why is the camera panned over here? However, you should grab that bone over there just in case. It could be... It could prove to be of use. Follow me, my boy. I'll take you to the crossroads. I've already been to the crossroads, but let's pick it up. But he certainly sounds like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I'm actually so proud of him. I mean, he's... Like, even though he's been the food hunter and everything... But it's interesting that he's learned so much about this island for years, so I guess he's been on the island way longer than the helpless survivors. So let's hurry over and collect the the bone. It looks like a stick. He just shoves it in his shorts. I'm I'm surprised that's not even slipping that didn't like go like if he just puts it in his shorts, I, at least it's not slipped out. But we have to follow him back to the crossroads if I go this way. There we go. Now, let's just turn around and hurry back to the crossroads. We're in luck. The natives have, are gone. These poles are exactly what I need, but they kind of scare me. This can't be good mojo. Don't concern yourself with such things, lad. What the natives don't know won't hurt them. Okay, well, let's just take it then. Since nothing bad's gonna happen. And yes, the natives does look like they are gone. We have a leopard there, just staring. Hope it doesn't do anything. Just stay there. See, I'm doing nothing. It's just... It's just standing there, giving me this intimidating stare. I love your spots! Oh, are you a leopard or are you a cheetah? Because both leopards and cheetahs both have are like the same animal with spots, but like different names so kind of can be a little bit confusing so okay can't go there um oh professor reinhardt is actually coming over to us so we were just standing there for no reason but um uh -huh. this ought to do the trick thanks professor I'd really like to see this raft of yours, young man, but I'll need to bring this food back to the others first. No problem, I'll meet you at the raft. Let me draw you a map. No need, I will find you. Okay, that was kind of creepy. Well, oh well, I have work to do. Okay, now I believe our raft is still at the Castaway Beach, the, the place we were washed ashore of. Oh great, it's even raining. Well, at least the raft is still, uh, there. I mean, I could swim. At least the water's not glitching out. But I probably should use the nature potty to also swim here, just in case. Well, don't really need to use the potty, so it mostly did smell bad. But now let's attach the mass. <laughs> okay. You are so slow walking to the rough, David. And... Well, there we go. Nice. Nice, David. Nice. Okay. Well, now that we finished the raft, uh, you can get back into your everyday clues. And, well, what to do now? I mean, I can move my camera around and... Oh! Professor Reinhardt! I'm I'm actually surprised that he instantly knows where we are. So I'm kind of questioning. Well, I mean, he studied the island for years, so. My, you have been busy. An excellent start, my boy. Thank you. Next, I need to use a sail, but I have no idea what to use that for. That. Hmm. I'm sure there's an answer. Let me think about that. 
You've been very helpful, Professor. I really appreciate it. Oh, please, it's my pleasure. And call me Winford. Hey, are you hungry? Allow me to feed you back at my hut by the lagoon. Well, that sounds delightful. Follow me, Winford. Because we're going back home. Back to the lagoon. So, okay, where is it? I mean, I can click on home as the shortcut, but I'm trying to find it. Baron Banks, Premier Shrine, Simeon's... You know what, I'm just gonna cheat and go home. It's quicker that way. Ooh, chapter 9, you got served. Uh, wait, what do you mean by that? What? Look, you, it's that new person. Uh, hi, what are you doing here? This is my home. And it's beautiful, isn't it, Hugh? Wait, how do you know where this place is? Oh yes, Sandra, much nicer than our beach. Well done, new person. You went from stowaway to steward in no time. Yeah, this place is tight. I love it here. I may never leave. Your bed is so much more comfy than the ground. Well, are you all crazy? Oh my goodness. I feel like maybe Ryan High might have told them about this. Careful, we may need their help. Be nice. But it may be best not to tell them about the raft. Why not? But please excuse me, it's been a long day. What I meant to say was, who's hungry? We're all in the same boat here, and everyone deserves a second chance. Once. Well, let's serve a meal. So what would be d good? So if I can just pan my camera around... Which I'm struggling a little. Ooh, oh, it's breakfast time. Catfish chowder. Ooh. Um, oh my goodness, David is so tired. But, okay, David, cook um, some breakfast. Have a probably a little nibble, and then you can go to sleep. I know, you've, you've been more busy than everyone else. Also, where did he get the pan, like the, like that pot? Hmm. Well, Wyatta seems like everything... Well, I don't need to worry about Wyatta much, considering that Wyatta's needs and wants are all green. So... Yeah, eat a bit of the ch that chowder. Okay, he just took like a two bites. I know, he's tired. I'm gonna let him go to sleep. Why... why wait, there's a girl in my hut. What is she doing? <laughs> She's talking with a lamp. She's crazy. But, um... Oh, I got woken up suddenly because of, of the professor? I'm trying to get my sleep. I am off to further my study of the island ruins. I will return soon. Oh, I am off to spur the study of the island ruins. I will return soon. My orangutan has better manners than this group. Too bad I didn't train Wyatt to attack. Yeah, pretty much. I would like to get the nurse to know the survivors, but David had a long night and he does need sleep. And then when he wakes up, he can get to know the group. So I'm checking to make sure his... Yep, his sleep seems pretty good. So let's just make him wake up. Okay, come on. Wake up. Also, I question, how is his PJs instantly dirty and have rips? Oh my goodness, he has to go off to work. Great, I'm gonna have to make him get to know the survivors when he gets back from work. Oh, David has mastered the art of getting through the hoop without so much as brushing the shirt, so he decided to move up the next level of skill in danger. Fire. Up until now, David has been training with a bamboo hoop, but in it may not burn for long enough for him to get through. David could also use one of the metal hoops from a salvage barrel. Which does David try? Mm. Uh, maybe, I don't know about bamboo, maybe metal? David pulls a bile, ba bilge hoop off one of the salvage barrels and starts polishing it up for his big jump. After giving the hoop a thin coat of pitch, David sets it on fire, giving himself a running start and cracks his knee on the bottom of the ring as he tries to tuck and roll. Although he didn't get seriously burned, David's knee injury will make it difficult for him to gather resources for a while. Oh, he loses one point of mechanical skill. Oh, I'm so bad. Wow, I'm so bad at this. Because last time, I made sure he kept his fluid intake and he lost a race. So that was bad. 
I'll just wait for him to get home now and make him and introduce him to everyone. Well, get to know them because he's already known it. Like, got to see meet them first time. One fine breezy day, when Wyata is on one of the best trash flinging rolls of her life, she accidentally throws a matted wad of animal hair, as scented with some bits of scrap metal, straight into the leaves of a tall tree, where it gets stuck. Wyata knows that most of the island's creatures prefer their trees trash free, but the wad of animal hair and scrap metal adds a certain decorative something or other to the tree's appearance. Should Wyata leave the trash in the tree and call it art or try to remove it? Probably remove it. I mean, I wouldn't want to leave it. Uh, Wyatt is tempted to leave all the wad of trash hanging in the tree and call it art, but that's lazy. But it doesn't look quite right. In fact, it seems to be making the tree unhappy. Unfortunately, it's also hanging from a slender branch, way up high and far out from the trunk. And there's no one around to ask for help. Wyatt slowly makes her way up the tree and into the branch where the trash is stuck, and carefully shakes it loose. After picking up the trash from the ground, Wyatt disposes of it in the tra camp's trash pit. Wyatt decides to be more careful in where she flings the trash in the future, and gains one point of creativity skill nice okay at least um i made the best choice for wayada and apparently i discovered that wayada is a she but i know there are some uh, gender mis like errors when it accidentally said like you know wayada is a boy and then all of a sudden a girl so i know it's confusing but since david is also back from work i'm gonna make sure he talks with everyone I'm actually surprised that I added that, like, rock check, because at least it's getting used. But let's go. What? They're even lazy. They don't even, like, they, they don't even clean up after themselves. And I even have a trash pit. So lazy of them. Did you talk to Robbie? Isn't he hysterical? Did he happen to mention me? First time I talked to him? No, girl, you are obsessed. I hope my husband is tending to the garden back home. I don't want to escape this jungle just to return to another one. Dude, you have to pull my finger. Seriously, dude, pull it. You're still- Oh my goodness, he's so immature about the whole pull my finger joke. I know what happens when you pull a, when you pull a guy's finger. One could make a mint by developing this island into a resort community, but it takes money to money make money, so you're out. That didn't make any sense. When I get home, I'm taking the world's longest, hottest bubble bath on record. What's the current bubble bath record? Um, probably a year or two? Well, it could always be worse. I could be stuck here with the criminally insane instead of the utterly worthless. Blah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's better to be stuck with the utterly worthless than the criminally insane, because, I mean, the thought of camping with psychotic, like, castaways, like, I bet you're gonna have to sleep with one eye open every single night, because, like, you don't want to get murdered in your sleep. Um, a superb meal, Th David, thank you. Um, well, you're very welcome, Professor. I've been thinking, the Eleni people of a similar island weave very large mats from tall grass. Oh, cool. Why had I got a bonus? Uh, that's a great idea. I'll weave a sail. Perhaps there's a plain of tall grass in the scavenger fields just past the crossroads where we found our mass. I mean, mass, whatever it's pronounced. That just my work. Thanks. It is absolutely my pleasure to help. <laughs> also, um, you said you were off to study, further study the island. How did you get back so quickly? But I'll try anything to get off this island and away from Hugh and his crew. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Hugh, crew. Ooh, chapter 10, a fresh start. I mean, the professor seems great and all, but the others... Hove. It kind of sounds like ole. <laughs> but you know what? Let's go and explore the scavenger fields. I... Probably I should go to the crossroads and then probably go from there. There might be the um scavenger fields. Whoa, 
Whoa, how did Professor Reinhardt get over there so quickly? He just teleported. He's like a ninja. But he's going over... Wait, he's going over in the direction where the native dude was boarding, guarding. So... Let's just... Oh, it is Camager Fields. Yeah, the loading screens are very much quicker. That's why I'm not very talking much. But it looks like most of it has been harvested. Luckily, I don't think I'll need much grass to, grass to make a sale. Why did he say grass? But let's cut some of this grass here. It gives me seven plus resources. This grass seems especially strong. It ought to get the job done. Um... Oh no! A little girl is being chased and climbing up a tree. That little girl needs my help! Well, come on. We- like, we gotta rescue her from the doggies. We have- <gasps> Ah! It's out of a bone! That's what the bone was for! I'm glad I got the bone. I like the little Easter Island heads in the background. You must find something to distract them. Don't worry, little lady. I have just the thing. I have what every dog loves the most. If I can just angle it right, and if the game can stop glitching a bit, I'm gonna throw a doggy a bone. Hello, doggy. Hey, doggy. Doggy. You want a bone? You want a da bone, doggy? <gasps> Yes, you want the bone! Go get the bone! I'm good, doggy. Good, doggy. Okay, well, I don't have the bone anymore, so you shoo off. <laughs> David's, like, way to shoo off. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Thank you, stranger. I am Na Nanihi, daughter of the chief. Hi, I'm David, son of my mother's first husband. First husband, so his mother must have been remarried. Please come to our village. Normally, outsiders are not welcome, but I am certain father will want to thank you. What a darling little girl. I can't wait to meet the rest of her family. Yeah. I mean, also, what if, like, her... No, wait, she's the chief's daughter, so she can't be that dude that was bodyguarding or something. But let's explore. So, I know, like, in the background, she teleported out from... That area being chased for, away by dogs. So let's go and explore the oh, village market. Wait, village. Oh, <gasps> we might be need meeting the um the natives. It might not just be the helpless survivors. Um. Chapter 11, a social networking site. Also, who is this yummy man? Mmm. Oh, okay, we got another guy coming. So, I like that, like, whole painting thing. Is it paints or tattoos? I don't know, but greetings. I am Ra... Ra Rahu, the chief's personal guard. Wood has spread quickly, detailing your brave deed. Nanihi is a curious and undisciplined child. She sneaks off into the jungle to find or more often creates adventures. The only true adventure in life is for one to tame the wild that lives inside us all. It is a way of nature to find gain and then take an advantage in order to grow and survive. It is a life quest to learn to live for others, for the tribe, over oneself. Also, wasn't he the guy that was shooing us away and was beat and beat our butts? I can see that you are on the path now. I know that you made a great stride in your life quest today, stranger. Our way is to reward brave and selfless acts, even if they come from such an unexpected source as an outsider. You should know that the chief has not allowed an outsider into our village since... Well, it has been many times. As in our custom, several of our single villagers wish to meet and reward you. You will find these four here. This is officially the best vacation I have never had. Okay, well, um, so we gotta meet these four people. I think I already know one of them. The yummy man, wherever he is. So, um, is that the yummy man? Yep, that's the yummy man. Um, so let's go talk with him, say hi and all that stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> the game is glitching out a little with the grass and everything, but let's just, um, 
Um, I'm trying to find the right camera angle, but nothing seems... I'm mostly getting a great higher up view, so... Let's click, keep clicking up onto him. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up a bit, just to make sure he gets to wherever he is. <laughs> this camera angle is a little useless. Oh, there we go. Now he ran walked all the way there, now he forgot what he was doing. He was going to chat. So... Hello. Oh, camera angle, you're the worst. You're talking about the rain. Um, also I realized that he glo- like, his color, like, lit up. So that means we have to build this, um, bond with him. So this might take a while. I don't know if you spirituals know what I'm doing, but I'm making David and this guy here get very, very close with each other, if you know what I mean. So, you know what? I'm gonna make it a mission. Operation Bromance is a go. So yes, you can see that I'm gonna flirt and do everything. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, now that we are friends, now know that I do not consider anything to be taboo. Um, okay, well, you know what, I'm just gonna flirt with you a little more, because I mean, you are one yummy, yummy man. A yummy native man, and I don't mean it like in a cannibal type of way, I mean it like in a flirty type of way. So, as I said, Operation Bromance is a goal. You know, the more the f like romantic um, David gets with this guy, like, I'm trying to make, keep a good eye on their, like, relationship bar, like their friendship bar, and apparently it's still on 59, no matter how many pluses there are. I mean, maybe it might be, ooh, I can kiss him. I'm gonna try and kiss him, but I feel like it might be essential later on in the story for our friendship to grow more. I don't know, okay? I just don't know. But I am making this a thing. I'm not going to abandon this plan right now if this goes in a rocky waters, okay? I'm not going to fail on this Operation Bromance. I know I'm supposed to meet other villagers, but I'm getting a little distracted, okay? Okay, joke and appreciate. No, um, no, I don't want to flirt with him. I don't want to flirt with him. I mean, I'm, I'm getting back on track, okay? I'm not going to distract myself with the Operation Bromance mission. I am still working on that mission, but it's just I also need to meet the other villagers. So, he also, I also realized that I can receive gifts from the villagers, and I forgot to with the first guy, so... I am Imobi. Welcome to our village, David. This gift is for you. I received a fat 100 resource points. Um, I asked the volcano for someone new to hunt with, and then you showed up. This is a good omen. I can find anything I re read. Tracks like they are stories. The marks you leave on the world tell a love story. I can help you find love you seek, but first I must repair the broken things, and I am not a quite quick fixer. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna chat with you a bit more. Make sure that we can become good friends. It's taking forever. What? Wait, where'd he go? Dude, I need to joke with you, entertain with you. Dude, where are you going? Oh, oh, you, you, you need to go to the bathroom? Um, well, okay. Wait. How did he all of a sudden change into his swimmers? David, you were nowhere near water. How did you instantly change into your swimmers? You know what? That's just... That's weird. That is very weird. But you know what? Um. Okay. Let me just... You know, appreciate... Admire your... Like, not in a flirty way. Like, I'm trying to be very, very friendly to you. Oh my goodness. It's taking... Okay, he. you don't like hugs. Let's gossip. Let's chat some more. Ooh, I'm gossiping about Robbie and not... Ooh, having a crush on the girl. Or, like, not friends with her. Doesn't want to be friends with her or something. I don't know. But I need to... 
Seriously, where did he go? I'm trying to speed up the process so we can be friends. Seriously, where did he go? Dude, where'd you go? Dude? Dude? There you are, dude. Oh, I can't click on him. That means he must be going off to work. Great. Well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I think that's Wyata down there, but... I'm trying to find the other two villagers. Why is it the women that I am having trouble finding? Um, wait. I think this might be, um... One of the women that I need to talk to. So let's chat and brag and also hopefully receive a gift. So, oh my goodness, this is the worst camera angle, okay? I mean, I can only see right above David's head. So some of the camera angle needs a bit of work. But okay, let's receive a gift. Let's just speed this up a bit. Uh, be careful of Imobi. He can be jealous. Do not tell him that I gave you this. I am called Amara. Do not forget. You gave me 20 food points. Cool. Nice. But you know what? Let's bond with you. We need to be a friend and everything. This is like, you know, this will take a lot of time, but I gotta make sure I repair. I mean, not repair. I gain your friendship. Uh, Forgetting comes easy to me. I do not dwell on the past. My mind never wanders the holes of lost love in my memory. These uh, native villagers are very deep. Life is to be lived in here and now. Love is for those in front of you, not the invisible idea of someone to come. A bad memory guards my heart, but keeps me from winning what I want most. A seeing stone from scavenger fields. What does she mean by that? But if I want to be real... Oh my goodness, we fully made a friend. You and I will be friends for many moons to come, David. I will not forget you. Cool. Now, there's only one more person we need to talk to. I don't need to talk to you. Um, I want to see if I can find the other girl. I'm just scoping this entire area. Can't seem to find her anywhere. Just panning around. I don't see her. Where could she be? She could... I don't know where she could she be. Maybe she could be at work or coming back. I mean, I don't know. Oh, she is not in the village market at the moment. Oh, I just have to click on them and they just instantly tell me where they are. Oh, pff, now you tell me? Okay. Well, while I wait for them, I'm just going to continue my bromance mission. You know, wink, wink, and nudge, nudge. Welcome to our village, honored guest. I am Kiri. Please accept this gift as a sign of my gratitude for saving Nanahi. Oh, is Nanahi your daughter? Or your sister? I don't know, but... <gasps> she gave me God or Goddess? What? That was sick! That's a sick gift. I love it. I love it. I love it. But you know what? I need to... Oh, yeah. Also, strangely, I'm instantly his friend. And he wasn't even in the village. Until she arrived back, so... That was just a weird glitch. But I need to bond with her and grow this very strong friendship. Just to be clear, this is taking forever. Like, just trying to befriend all the four villagers. It's really hard, so it takes hours to befriend every single villager. And why is her not, uh, green bar not going up? I'm trying to, come on, just, oh. My love is like a fire. A strong wind can extinguish it, or a soft whisper can kindle it until it rages out of control. Also, these the the um the natives are the t very deep. Like they're talking a bit about romance, but they're saying it's like the way they're phrasing it. It sounds so deep. When the wind blew my loss, my fire went out. Can you st stoke the, the smoldering embers in Kiri into a roaring flame? Now the only fire I burn is for the trash pit. The wind keeps blowing it out. I am tired of lighting it. Very sad, yet very, very deep. Come on. I need to bond with you. You're the last villager I need to befriend. Why is it so hard for you, like, to befriend the villager? I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. This is... This took me hours 
to befriend all four villagers. And trust me, it was hard because some of the villagers were like, gotta go off to work and I won't be back until, for like an, until another two days. Okay, come on. We need to appreciate, admire your culture and everything. So come on. There we go, all done. Woo! Okay. Um, my mother, Huhana, wishes to speak with you. She is the wife of the chief. And your mother. Uh, hi, um, oh. Oh. Wow, such friendly people. I thought she was kissing me, but I mean, she just embraced me, but... Welcome, stranger. I thank you for the life of my daughter. Where do you come from? The ship. I was on sank near your island, and I washed ashore here. Now that you are here, what are your plans? I'm building a raft to take me back to my own land. Why would anyone want to leave the island? Um... To be honest, I miss my home. I understand. Nani, he saw you cutting grass. Is that for your raft? Um, yes. I plan to weave it into a sail to catch the wind. I would be honored to help the one who saved my daughter. I will weave you a sail and bring it to you when it's finished, David. Cool. She's such a helpful woman. Also, she's very elder, so... I guess she waited a little while to have a kid. Let's go and look for my father in the village harbor. I'll show you the way. I guess just down there. But... Okay, let's just... I hate this camera angle, but off we go to the village harbor. But anyway, spirituals, I'm sadly going to have to leave that part there. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, give your love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if your spirituals have other videos you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. Um, uh, well, personally, all I can say is, is that uh, I like what the new pl areas. Um, what's interesting is that we David got to meet new people who were actually lazy and not but like not thinking like not like the instant david woke up on the island he was like gotta get food gotta make a shelter i like make a working plan like and get my monkey pet to do it and what these people did is they let they leave it to an old a poor elderly professor that we just met and make him go and collect the food so, they don't, they probably don't even consider about his health or something. Maybe they just say, like, oh, you're, like, a healthy old man. Go and, uh, just collect food for us. And literally, they had coconut trees, and no one bothered to, to even think just to climb up or spear a fish if they get hungry. That is, that just sounds silly, but, um, also don't know how they found my hut that I was staying at. So, well, but also, um, we saved a little girl, and we met, like, half of the natives. And yes, I am still hoping to achieve my ultimate mission, the Operation Bromance thing with David and... What's his name? I will get his name. But, um, you know what? I am... I'm actually want to like say that the camera angle in the like the village area um might need a little bit more working because I know it's like hard with the camera angle with the hills and everything so yeah I actually still enjoyed it um I like how David met new people and maybe in the next part we are actually going to meet the other natives so yeah, I'm actually excited, and trying to befriend the four um, natives was so hard, because considering the fact that some of them had to leave to go to work and then come back, and then you, like, I was sitting around doing nothing, 
and all that stuff. So yeah, it's hard just trying to prevent be befriend all the um all the up uh, like yeah. So basically it was hard. And um I hope this next one won't be that hard or challenging in any ways, but I like how we're even pressing on with the story and uh yeah, so that's all I have to say. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye and have a spiritual day.